Secret Map Fitters. We did a whole bunch of masonry videos a little while ago. I didn't do one on the block shear splitter because it wasn't in stock. If we sell them, they don't always stay in stock, so we were waiting for a new shipment. This is a block shear. It has 20 tons of power, 40,000 pounds. It can do natural stone, it can do granite, it can do man-made material. What it does, well, guess what? I'm talking to people who are interested in it, they know exactly what it does. Things you need to know. It's built like a tank. There is certain generations of models that came from different parts of the world, and as soon as they go under load and strain, the metal starts to buckle and twist, and you've got to take it into a shop, a welding shop, and get it reinforced. It is already currently reinforced. Made in the US of A. This particular one is just manual, so you would pump this. The ram would come up and break your material. And the reason it looks hard to move is because it's brand new, it's covered in paint, and it hasn't been worked in. But as you can see, the blade is lifting. We have over 24 inches, and I believe the height available is 11 inches, so 24 by 11. The actual measurements are on our webpage. I don't know everything. Just ask my wife. Ha, ha, ha. But anyways, block shear comes in different sizes. This is the bigger one. It also has air assist, so when you have the availability of a compressor, you can have a trigger and it'll do the foot pumps instead of just by hand, instead of using the foot pump. I'm just going to look and see if we have any of the smaller versions. I think they're sold out. But... Yes, they are. Sorry about that, Chaz. I didn't mean to make you walk. But the smaller versions are table models or on scaffolding models. They have a lighter capacity. I think they're around six to eight tons and they're smaller. And they're 80 pounds and you can put them up on scaffolding or you can move them around by hand. And they're for smaller material. Block Shear CEO. Uh, we do carry some parts, the Rubber Baby buggy bumpers, but that's basically it. As for wheels, when you guys destroy the rear wheels, go to your local supply place and just strap on some wheels. I believe it's a 5 8 inch axle. We do have them in stock, but very rarely do people come and ask for them. Other than that, great little splitters, great product. That's it. Pretty boring. Thanks. Bye for now.